It's Indie Weekend here on the Joe Show, and I'm continuing to play Super Liminal. Let's play. It's the Joe Show. As I mentioned, I'm playing a game called Super Liminal. It's a perspective altering game where I have to use my perspective to interact with the environment and solve puzzles. If you want to check out other content from that, you can click the link up here. Otherwise, let's play. This is Super Liminal. Here we are in game, it's 7 a.m. This is part four, super liminal, turn off that alarm. Yesterday they were messing with us and make this, making it seem like it was a survival horror game. Uh, and then it turned out to be red paint from somebody painting the hallways or painting the sets. And now here we are back waking up at 7 a.m. Seems like there's an online purchase request here. Radiation, radium gas plywood sheets yeah building the set now i'm really just not sure if i'm in a dream or if they're just messing with me i'm some sort of experiment seems like who's ever in suite e in suite uh c though has some nice relaxing music going on how quaint let's go into the relaxation room though oh maybe we can go do some yoga here how nice see here we got popcorn we got soda Something being projected. Ah, how nice. This is a very relaxing room, huh? Now we have finally moving clouds. Good thing I brought my yogurt pants. Maybe I should do some yoga. But I want to actually get in the relaxation room. Can I go in? I can! Hold on, I'm going to check this out first, though. About us, our mission. Is perception truly reality? That's the question we, uh, you are trying to answer. Our dice exhibit will answer, will attend, uh, will astound and maze you, <laughs> instead of a maze, it's a maze that we're in, will maze you beyond your brain's cognition limit. Then, Thus opening your mind up to new possibilities found within this dimension. What does all of this really mean? We don't know, but that's okay. We're working on it. Together we are working on it. Together. Let's go back in the relaxation room though. See if I can yeah, do a little hop up here. Just look at this. How nice. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hold on one second. Hitting at yoga, so relaxing. Hope you can join me in this mountain pose. Touch your toes. Deep breath in. Halfway up. And down. Back to mountain pose. Hope you feel relaxed with me now. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Clouds. Thanks, game. Oh, Glenn Pierce. What are you going to tell us now, Glenn? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. We know. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Oh, well then, if we have to continue what we were just doing, we've got to keep watching this then. Just get right up in those clouds, you know? How nice. Okay, Glenn. Now we got to break out of here. I'm too relaxed. It's time to cause some mayhem. Oh, we're back here. Deja vu, huh? Oh, I was hoping that we we're gonna get more of the switches that were mul multiplying. It's scary, multiplying. Isn't that like a Grease song? I don't think anyone watching this has ever seen Grease. As always, we must recycle. Oh, is that a mini soda? It is. Boop. 
how I managed to balance this perfectly on that, I have no idea, but that was impressive. We gotta recycle, though. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. So, I mean, this is clearly a drop. With our reality door here. Okay. I thought we were gonna turn into a box again. God, I feel like I'm just stuck in a big conference center. Like, I, I used to volunteer at conference centers like this all the time. At the Game Developers Conference, GDC in San Francisco as a volunteer there for 12 years or something. A ridiculous amount. Oh, well, let's make this bigger, obviously. Boop, 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 boop. I love that. I love it. This is such a cool mechanic. That you can grab something, make it bigger, and then I can walk into it. <laughs> it's just amazing. I love it. Let's get up here. Why does everything feel they're slightly bigger here? Oh. Don't forget the fire alarm. Don't forget the old man. Fire extinguisher. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. I feel like the mini soda now is going to be regular size because the house is big. Let's see. Nothing. BS. BS. Okay, Dad. Got, this is the the luggage room, apparently. Okay. And this is back to the conference center. Oh. This is where I came from. Looks like I could pick something up there, though. Can I pick up the house while I'm in it? I can. And then I can put it down <laughs> on top of me. <laughs> Oops. So here's the deal though, I can't go through this exit door because it's not big enough, so I really need to make this house quite bigger. Not even sure that's big enough yet. We, we might have to go even bigger. Yeah, I think that we can... <laughs> I think I can get through it now. That is incredible though, that uh, this perspective shifting and the fact that this room got bigger with that. I can't imagine that was easy to program in a game, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What's up, Glenn? Oh. If I make it bigger, does the music get lower? If I make it smaller, does the music get higher? It does, that's awesome. That is an awesome little touch. And it's reacting immediately to my perspective. Look at that. That is incredible. Well done. Well done. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. That is rad, man. I love it. That's a nice little touch. That is a nice little touch, but I can't just leave this... Gotta recycle that. I just unlocked an achievement for that as well. Oh, now is Dr. Glenn gonna talk to us on that TV? Hello, Dr. Glenn. Is Dr. Glenn here? Dr. Glenn, hello, paging Dr. Glenn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a radio, but first. What's up, Glenn? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. Oh, the <laughs> if this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. 
No, that was really scary, you guys. You thought I thought this was a survival horror game. It was not very therapeutic at all, so I'm glad you have that remedied. But what's going on with this TV? And why is the power cord so goddamn big? Hey, could someone fix that light? Seems like they've been thinking more about this. Ordering more red paint. Getting pillows. Ooh, that's very therapeutic, a pillow. Wait, where's this going? Red tube. Red tube. Up the stairs. Hmm. It's not plugged in. Hmm. And I can't interact with it to so put it in a wall. Hmm. But the TV's still on, so... Maybe Dreamland? Maybe not? I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute, I'm sure. It'll all make sense. Less scary and more comical. Sounds like there's a monkey hanging on it. Back to the hotel room here. It's Jenga! Oh, it's a huge Jenga game! Oh man, not another fan puzzle. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Just making a little, making a fan. Yeah, blow away. It was a Jenga puzzle. <laughs> that is fun. Now, I wonder what would have happened if I didn't blow that well. That's what she said. And it didn't land correctly. Oh, I probably could have used the fan end to just blow away the Jenga pieces to get into the door. I guess that would have been the answer to that, huh? I answered my own question there. Jenga! Okay, we got a hallway. Get a window into a hallway. Classic. I love windows into hallways. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm not seeing my way out here. Because this door doesn't open. It says caution wet. What an odd sign to put there. For some reason I feel like it has something to do with the answer to this puzzle. But I'm probably wrong. Like, why would they have a wet sign and then this mop bucket? Hmm. 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 For some reason, I feel like I need to tilt it over. Let's find out. I like that the sound finally gives me feedback on how well I'm doing in placing these... ...these things. Is this too big now? Come on, blow it! I swear to god I didn't say that to her. Hmm. What is with the hallway? Oh! So that window I could take down, huh? I wonder if I can make it big enough to go through. I have a feeling like I can. Wow. This is amazing. I love it. This portal type of gameplay here. Boop. Boop. See ya. Now this 
is nice and perspective shifting. This is so rad. If you enjoy this gameplay, I would highly recommend playing this game. It's so, so satisfying. Cloud kickers. Hiya! What is this? So oh. Thought it was a solar panel, but it seems like I can... I'm playing as an architect because every time I've seen a blueprint like that, I've been able to draw on it. it must be an architect. Hmm. Can I get up? Oh. 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 Hey, flowers. Hmm. Smells like azaleas. Oh, there's a chess piece up there. There's a chess piece up there. There's a little, little blue chess piece. One of my favorites that I'm always looking for. The little blue chess piece. Boop, boop, boop. How do I get it, though? Hmm. Hmm. Because I don't see anything I can pick up, and I can't get back outside. Maybe I made this too big, and now I can't get it. Because you have to get close enough to, to, to tap it. Oh! Got it! <laughs> Now I can go through. Now I feel good. Got the locker room here. Don't drop the soap. Hmm. Okay. Anything in anything in here? No. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like it rotates now we're talking now we're definitely talking inception here is there another blue piece in here somewhere i'm gonna look out for these blue pieces they got me all messed up man These like shiny pieces i want to collect them all even though i don't think i get anything from them it's just an obsession now I'm one of those completionist type people hello, hello. glenn my name is dr glenn pierce and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Wow, well, Glenn, thanks. That was so motivating. Motivational quote quote from you how uh, how nice that man that was that is trippy when i look up there that rotate i feel like there's got to be a blue chest piece in here somewhere right i feel like you're with me this music is like very close to being christmas music or maybe it's just because it's christmas season right now well actually christmas is over but man i I've in the past not been a fan of Christmas, but this year, I don't know, even though 2020 was rough for a lot of people, I feel like Christmas was pretty good still. I was enjoying the Christmas music and being in the Christmas mood. Now we're back, now we're, now we're back, now we're in a pool, a very large pool with a bouncy castle. Can I bounce? I can. I think I can pick this up as well. I can probably use it to get up places. Yep. Of course. Of course we can. Oh, hello. Knock, knock. What's in there? Hmm. Now, do we think that I can make this big enough to get up to the second level here? We'll find out. No, we don't want to do that. It's 
Stay. Good bouncy castle. Can I get up? Can I? Ah, ah. Oh, so close. You just have to make it slightly bigger. Stay. 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 Can I get up here? Yeah. Up here. No. We want to stay up there. On the, the, the point. There we go. Anything? Ah. Ah. So close. But now how am I gonna... <laughs> And now how am I gonna get back up there? I can't, I gotta bring it down. So that I can hop up. And then I gotta grab it. So that it's massive. And not fall down. Stop falling down. I bet you there's gotta be something up there. I just feel it in my bones. In my bones! Go up. Hmm. Maybe there's something in here I can grab and take with me. <gasps> hmm. Not looking like there's anything in here for me to grab and take with me, unfortunately. Nope. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Because I don't think I can get up there. Too short. Too short. It's like right there, but not. Can I hop onto this ledge? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Oh. No, it's like right here, man. So close. Mm. Seems to be slightly smaller, and then I think we can do it. No, oh, that's too small. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're so damn close, dude. So close to this, so close. Really? I can't get up there? Come on, just grab onto the ledge. There we go. Don't... Just get up. Get up. Get up. No, there's nothing. Oh, there it... Can I... I think I can actually exit through there. There's an exit. Oh, man. But I'm not close enough to the thing yet. Oh man, I'm so, oh my god, so I can. It's tricky, but you can do it. I just have to get it close enough. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I got close enough? Come on, come on. Get up there. Get up there. No, come on, come on, it's it's right there. Oh, come on, we're right there. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think I'm close enough though. I don't think I'll be able to make the jump. No, I don't think I'm close enough. Uh... Ah. <laughs> no. 
No. But that would be nice if it just worked out like that. <laughs> Maybe I can just do it like this? It's so close just fall in uh that's huge but i i really don't think i can get up there maybe maybe we can we can glitch it in some way no it's not i'm not close enough still Yeah, it's so close, guys. It's so close. So damn close. I can feel it in my bones. No. Definitely close enough. But how am I going to get up there? I have no idea. Now we're there. We're here. If I can just get up there, we're, we're, I'm here. But I, I don't think I'm, I'm big enough for this. No, 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 dude. It's so... Come on! Come on! Am I, am I double jumping off the thing? Oh. Oh man. This is frustrating because it's it's we're right there. But he's like jumping off of it. Come on, or she, we don't really know what my gender is. It doesn't really matter though. Come on. Just let me up, let me up. Oh. It's like he wants to. Come on, <laughs> come on, just get up there, bud. Ah, uh, oh, this is so frustrating. Being this close and not being able to get up there. If I come around this corner, it's like the closest I can get. I can feel him, he, he wants to get up there, but leverage to get up there yeah yep yep okay we're we're still close we're still there did i make it smaller or did i make it bigger i really can't tell i think i made it smaller i feel like i made it slightly smaller oh i felt it oh come on you piece of junk get up there you're so close to getting up there wasn't it
Did I do it? Oh man, did I do it? Did I make it the right size to get up there? Come on. Just get up! Get up! You dick! Just get up! <laughs> the irony of me shouting, get up, you dick. Ah, oh, man, this is... infuriating. At how close he is. Yeah, I fucked that one up, huh? go. Now if we could just get up to the top. Why is this so hard? Oh, come the F on, dude. And get up. Get up. I can see the top. Just get up. Get up! Get up! Dude, come on. I'm like, what else can I do here? It's tilted so well. It's just set up perfectly. And still, he doesn't want to get up. in my grasp and this little dipshit doesn't want to get up still within reason can't get up dude dude you're killing me Music is not calming anymore, it's frustrating. But I've committed to you guys and I'm getting up there. We gotta figure out what's through that. I don't even think I'm close enough. At this point, I don't think it's the castle's close enough. No, that definitely didn't fucking help. Oh my god. Oh, F me, dude. Oh, F me. So hard. Maybe, maybe. Definitely not big enough. Like, uh, I just need you to tilt over so that I can get up there. I need you to like hook onto that. Yeah, it's like kind of the, the what I need you to do, but not really. No. 
Can I hook you onto the top of this? I don't know. I want you to hook onto that. Yeah, kind of like that, actually. It's like that, but better. Could I have done it? No, I'm still not close enough. need you to tilt. Just need you to tilt. Ah, they couldn't have given me a better tool to work with here than this dumb castle. No. the closest it's been. If you would just tilt and get stuck, I think this would be so much easier. Like the most easy. My God, you, you realize how close we are with that, with that? No, if you were just tilt and get stuck like that, we could have got up there. Get stuck on there, yes. <sighs> Bouncy house, work with me, please. No. Didn't want to get stuck, huh? Ah, oh, you bouncy. You bouncy jerk. Ah, oh, this is. I can't even breathe because it's like. I'm so close and I can feel it. And I just want to be finished with this because this is taking too long. It shouldn't be taking this long. It's so frustrating, dude. When it's this close and it just won't work with you. No. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Stop moving. Stop. Stop. Just stop, please. We're here. We're so close. Oh, oh my God. I can taste it. After all that, I can't go... After all that, I can't go through it? After all that, it's too small and I can't... You can't crouch in this game. There's no crouching. Dude! 
food. Come on! Oh, that is so aggravating. That is really aggravating. So trucking aggravating. So trucking aggravating, dude. So I just spent all that stupid time trying to get up there. What do they do? Nothing. All I can do is write. Can I go through there? Yeah, interesting, okay. After all that stinking time spent with this nonsense bouncy castle. What do we find out? But nothing. Absolutely nothing. Was happening up there. Nothing was on that diving board. That was the most crushing defeat I've experienced playing this game. So sad. Okay, how do I get in this stupid thing? Let's go. Glenn, I gotta leave you. We gotta get out of here. I'm not recycling this stupid... Maybe I should recycle it. Just because I'm mad. See you. Ha! <laughs> it spits it back out. That's cool. I'm glad that they actually included that so that you don't get stuck. That's nice. That was nice. No, I can't get back into this thing, of course. <laughs> of course I can't get back into it. I don't remember how to get back into this thing, hilarious. Let's continue on. I'm done. I'm done with that room. Oh, of course, we come back here. Very cool. Yeah, okay, now what? Now I'm back here. And what do they want me to do? I can't go through here. So you want me to bring this here? And go through it? Again? No. What would they like me to do here? Oh, probably... I, I, I see what's going on. What they want me to do is place this... Here. And then exit here. So actually we were going up there, but... I took the way long route, the wrong route. Now I come through here, and now I'm small enough to go through this door. Dude, after all that, I can't believe that. Ugh, we could have saved so much headache. Joe, what were you doing? You're trying to be too fancy sometimes. So mad at myself. Well, now we're back here. There's another message from Glenn. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. <laughs> and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Soon. Thank you. Get me the hell out of here. Thanks, Glenn. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Hmm. It's a nice room. <laughs> Am I back in the same room? Whoa, that is huge. I don't think we want to do that. 
I think I want to get through there. Let's go through here. Huh. Make that slightly bigger so I can get through it. Almost there. Let's see here. Make that bigger if I keep going this direction, then eventually this key. Let's see what happens here. I think it would be too big to get through the keyhole. There's chest pieces and an apple and a drink cup. But there's, I mean, I, I don't think I can make this much bigger, but I can make this smaller. Yeah, and then the room looks huge, right? Yeah. Oh, but then I can make this even bigger. And then I can, but then I can't go through there. Oh, maybe I have to put the exit here. Ah, very cool. Here I am at the chess game. Wow, this is actually quite beautiful. <laughs> I am tiny now, though. Oh my god, everything is so big. It's taking me forever to walk around. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There we go. Whew. That was a long way away. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. Well, whenever I go through that door is when we get, go out of dreamland, right? So do I want to explore a little bit? I mean, I wish that I was moving a little bit faster, but if I take my exit with me, then at least I can get back to it quicker. Just wandering around a chessboard. Seeing if there's any big glowy chess pieces that we can interact with. Yep, just walking around a giant chess game. Move faster. No, we don't want to move faster. Still walking. Christopher walking. So I'm going to take this opportunity to watch the two people that will ever see this um, to invite you to watch some of my other content. I do a daily show at the moment. Um, all sorts of different themes. I guess you could call this a variety show. I have a lot of different interests, so sometimes I'm reacting to music, dubstep, bass music. Sometimes I'm discussing business stuff, which is what my career choice is in. I'm one of the best business people you know right here. Uh, other times I'm playing games like this because I love games. Other times I'm talking about thoughtful content. I think being mindful and reflecting and trying to better yourself as a person is important for, um, yeah, growth as a human being and pushing the species forward. And technology, I talk about, uh, our technology I talk about on Tuesdays for Tech Tuesdays, where I discuss different technology things. I love tech. Technology is pushing us forward as a species. Oh my God. Where have I gotten to? Oh my God. 
Thank goodness I brought this with me, though, because if I wouldn't have brought this with me, I don't know what would have happened here. I mean, for being in a dream, I'm falling very slowly. <laughs> All right, we'll go back in. Or maybe just the physics here is very low. No? <laughs> Let's go. That was rough. So slow. And then on Monday, I do Motivation Monday. <clears throat> Give you motivational content for the week. Meeting for Cardboard Lovers Association, hosted by our cat friend here. Now it should be 8 a.m. And I believe we're six dreams deep at this point. I'm really not really sure how many dreams deep we are, but we're pretty deep into this. No, it's back to 3 a.m. Thought for sure it was going to be 6 a.m. I mean 8 a.m. Boop. Hello. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Finally, Please I can get out of here. Include your somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. <laughs> Error logged by. Orientation protocol. <laughs> Stand by for analysis. Did we actually think we were going to get out of here? No. Of course not. We knew that somnasculpt couldn't handle it. Oh, there's a window. Okay. Oh, more red paint. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. <laughs> I am afraid. How am I going to get out of here? When does this end? I'm supposed to be relaxing, but this hasn't been very relaxing. You've just been making me realize how much I suck at chess. Oh, there's a block. There's some soda. Yay! Dream soda. Shouldn't have done that though. Now you gave me ammunition to use to climb to places that I'm not supposed to be. This is obviously what we're supposed to do. No. Wanna make a giant soda can. I just noticed that it says green <laughs> for no reason. Can I get up to the vents? I'm always trying to get places I don't belong. It's the theme of this game. Where can we go that I don't belong? Oh. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. No, I, I, I definitely feel like I was improperly oriented. Yes. You guys did not give me the, the down low of this dream world enough. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why we're here. I feel like I'm in the back rooms. Walking around in dream world behind the scenes. Oh, hey, look, a computer. Improved hmm. hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> it's been emergency destroyed. No! Instruction. Continue no. with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. Oh, no. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. No! Whoa! Whoa! What just happened? How did I get out of there? I didn't go in an elevator. But we're back here again? There's still chess? Oh my god, what? What is happening? Deja vu, always. Yeah, we're back here again. No, no. Hey. No. I'm just gonna let it ring. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. And now my mouse controls the orientation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was disorientating. I think I'm out though. Guys, I think we made it. This is the end. This is for sure the exit. The dream exit. We've reached the backstage where everyone's having knives and diet soda. Diet... Smooth! <laughs> Damn it, now I wish I would have looked at the other ones. I wonder if it says red! Gotta obviously use the fire extinguisher before we turn off the alarm. Where's Dr. Pierce? I'm, I need Dr. Pierce. I'm feeling crazy. What time is it? Three? Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. We got to beat the... Oh, shoot. That sounds very relaxing, though. Oh, now I can make my own relaxation therapy. I had a feeling. Although this is kind of scary at the same time. Nope. Th th disappeared. Still got a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I mean a fire alarm. Huh. Dr. Glenn Pierce, thank you for completing the Somnuscult Standard Orientation Protocol. Before uh -huh. we begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Uh-huh. You didn't explain it, Glenn. You kind of left me hanging there. Glenn, you, you left me hanging, bud. I'm feeling fragile. I'm feeling very fragile. Get me out of here. I'm pulling all the alarms. Help me escape. I'd like to escape. There's a fire in my head. Oh. Huh? Okay. What is going on? Oh my god. Well, that's nailed to the floor. This is so confusing. I need a diet soda. I need a green soda or a red soda. No, I need the, the so- Oh my god. Right? I can- No? Can I- No? <laughs> How do I orientate myself to... Oh. Uh. Oh, now the whole place is falling apart. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Just made an exit. Man, this is very disorientating. Can't forget the fire alarm, though. Can't forget the fire extinguisher. Okay. Walking on the walls. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Yeah, I, I mean, that's exactly what's happening, Dr. Glenn. I do, did feel like this is kind of a trial by fire, for sure. Oh. 
Do I get the block back? No! I thought I was gonna get the block. That was nice, well played. Now they're really messing with my perception of how this game works. Wow. Did not see that one coming. And now everything's just falling apart. The whole world is crumbling. Wow. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, move this. How do I get out of here? Where's the exit? Yes, the, uh, this is how we exit. Exit this dream, let's go. Get me out of here. No! No! Oh, it's behind me, that's okay. No, this is definitely how I get out this way, it has to be. Perception is not reality. This is the, go through. Oh. that? Oh, that. But wait. Man, they're messing with us. Man, this is... Nope, it's gotta be... Damn it! <laughs> Hall four. Damn it. Hall five. Damn it! Hall six. Hall six is where all the action happens. Get me out of this dream, we're so close. I feel like, no. Whoa, that is cool. That is cool, can I go in it? No, that is wicked cool though. Let's get up there. Oh, I can walk on top of it. That is... I still think that's really cool. Oh no, where'd my cube go? What the heck? Hey, cube, it's not cool to mess with us like that. We're up. Road closed, go this way. No. Bouncing castle, no thank you. Green soda! What does it say on the green soda can? Green! What does it say? It does. That's funny. Oh, that's what I need to check red. Damn it. I don't think it'll give me a red one though. No, of course not. Always breaking the machine. It's fine. Yeah, we need that to go down. There we go. All right, Glenn, what's up? Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. I've run out of dreams? Oh no, because this is a trigger and it won't... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Now it's painted on the wall. Oh, thank God that that opened up. Diet soda, a wall piece. Oh my. How do I... Wake up! I'm assuming they want me to go that way, but like... Come on, what's down here? Ooh. Nice. This music, though. Oh my god. This is just messing with you so hard right now. Oh my. 
I can go down there? Oh my. Oh my god. Oh, a bed. How nice. I don't, or I could exit here. But then what's down there? I want to get rewarded for my explorative nature. <gasps> Whoa. Is that the right way to go? Which way do I go now? No, screw that. I want to go the, the cool way. I have to. You know you want me to venture out into the far reaches of space. Easter egg is this. This is incredible. I didn't get an achievement or nothing for going here, but I'm so glad that I found it. Can I go off? No, I can't. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Is there something here? It looks like there's something in the clouds or in this in this the stars. Like if I line up enough stars, I'll see something. Maybe? It feels like it, right? Huh? Huh? <gasps> what is... What is that? What was that? It won't come back. Is there more? Is there another one? That was so cool. Now I'm just like blown away. Like what is going on? Is there something else? Maybe? I like feel like there could be, but I don't know. Now I'm just confused. At what that was. I mean, it clearly all kind of came together and lined up. I have no idea. This, this room is gorgeous, though. I don't think there's another one. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> and now it's back to... Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-bum. Like, was that the exit? What just happened? Push bar to open, but it won't open. Oh. Oh. This is a scary room. So dark, gothic. Oh my god. These jump cuts of reality is... are intense, man, when you're playing this. Let me guess. Jump cut. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it says go this way.
I'm gonna follow the arrows. Wherever they take us. Listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Huh? Those were not like that a second ago. They were not painted on like that. That's cool. But I'm out of here. Oh. <gasps> Did we make it? Have I exited the dream? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I've reached a wall. I've reached another wall. Dude, this is trippy how this is doing this. So now are those drawings too, or are they real? They look real. But then as I get closer to it, it becomes a wall. This is craziness. Is this going to become a wall too? Yeah, it just did. You see it clicked in? Whoa! No, so I was not in a room before. Now I'm in a room. Welcome. Hello. What is happening? Can I get on top of this? Come on. Come on. Get up there. It looks like there's something up there. Oh yeah, nice. A construction plan. Gotcha! Probably would have been easier there, but that's fine. <laughs> the loading bar is loading from the bottom up. <laughs> Did we wake up? Highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascal Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Well, this is the room that I'm in. You can hear because it's shaking. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. states, states. Huh. Yeah, can't exit, can't exit, can't exit. But I can get a green soda. No, I can't get a green soda. Can't get any sodas. Let's get through here. Yep. Okay. Now this is bigger. Maybe I can exit through the Solnoscope sign? No. Huh. If I go through here, then what happens again? Conception? Hmm. Am I, I'm gonna be conceived, huh? Huh. Huh. Can I... Hmm. I feel like it wants me to... To exit again. Can I exit through that door? Yeah. And then I come back... Here. Yeah, again, this type of puzzle. So then where do they want me to place myself? Maybe back here? Because that's the only other place I can think of. It's by the computer. Is there like a... Go on the chessboard? 
in the garbage. I can place myself in the garbage, maybe. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let's see what's out there. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention Pro protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Well, it looks like we're going to be interacting with a paradox then. Close. Come back later. No, no, no. Open. <laughs> Chalkboard? Where am I supposed to be going here? Because I'm so tiny. Don't I don't want to fall off because I feel like I'm gonna have a tough time getting back here. there? Where am I supposed to be going here? Into the soda machine? <laughs> Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention Pro protocols may not be fully implemented. implemented. What is happening now? It's making the computer disappear? What the hell is that? What is going on? Huh. Is this a glitch in the game? Or is that part of the thing? I honestly can't tell if that's a glitch in the game or if that is part of the experience here. No, it looks like it's part of it. What just happened? What is going on back here? This is insane. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. What? Is happening? Paradox, don't do it. Never. Reminder, call jungles management. Music too dang loud. Scent of burned curry. Shipments of fond. Has space for more. Ask they can also ask Ryan Medical for increased canister order frequency. Paradox behavior 101. Don't do it. I'm gonna call jungles management. Man, I don't get it. But this video has been going on for far too long. We're way over an hour, so I'm going to cut it off there. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my show, hit that subscribe button and mash the bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Uh, and until next time, I'll play something good. Come back next week when I finish playing Subliminal. You know it. I love you.